Hi everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. This reading is for all Libras in the universe. Sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. The messages may or may not resonate. This is a general reading. So please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. So thank you everyone for watching. Let's jump straight in. We got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real, worth exploring. We've got release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Lovely. We also got messages from the Oracle deck for this reading. Look for a sign. Ask your angels and within the next few weeks okay so let's get some tarot tap into the energies surrounding your current situation so do you remember energies can be vice versa or interchangeable there's no gender in tarot it's all just energies so please take the messages as it resonates for you and your situation Okay, so we've got the Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords and Star, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so that's clarified for the Five of Wands, Eight of Swords, Page of Swords, a lot of air energy. Is a Libra reading, so that's clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, the Sun in reverse, Leo energy. Okay, so this reading is showing a situation where, for those of you, someone wants to, um reconcile work things out with you start fresh with this page of pentacles so this is someone that you've probably heard from by now if you haven't heard from this person you will very soon this is current energies so this is someone that may have reached out to you you may have heard from this person they sent you a message yeah this is someone I'm getting at. This is someone that. This is someone that was um, very deceptive towards you. And I can see here you pull back your energy from this person. However,. When you did that, it made them realise how important you are to them. Because they're miserable without you. We've got the sun in reverse. <laughs> this person is miserable without you. So, um, I mean, this could be an ex-lover, an ex-friend, family member. Take it how it resonates. Or it could be all of the above. But whoever this is, they miss you. And they're miserable without you. You've got the sun in reverse. So I don't feel... I feel like... The reason why things... Didn't work out... Was because this person was deceptive. We've got Seven of Swords energy here. They were operating... In a in a low vibrational way, yeah. This person may have been playing mind games with you, using manipulation. There was dishonesty in the situation. There was lies, deceit. You name it. Take it how it resonates. But this person was just doing you dirty, either in front of you, in in your face, or behind your back. 
Yeah, I got this five of wands here. I mean, five of wands conflict. Five of wands in reverse. It could indicate, yeah, gossip. People talking behind your back. Yeah, five of wands is conflict. And other people involved. Five of wands in reverse. So, you know, I just feel like, yeah, this is someone that they were using emotional manipulation as well. You was given to this situation. As you can see, this was a one-sided situation. Six of Pentacles in reverse. So there was a lack of balance and harmony because this person was probably taking, you was probably giving more to this um, connection than this person was. You had more to give than they did. This is why, because they were just taken. They were just being deceptive. Just out for what they can get from you. They were using you for some of you, I'm hearing. This person was using you. Because I can see here, some of you may have water in your chart, but you embody this Queen of Cups energy, I mean, very caring energy, compassionate, nurturing. You know, you're there for people. Very compassionate being. You have a very loving, healing energy. We've got the star as well, very healing energy. So this is how this person sees you. This is why they want to reconcile because your healing, your energy is very healing. You're very caring, you're compassionate. You're there for people. You listen. You know, if if this is a friend that's missing you, then you are a very good friend. They know you're a very good friend. You're a very good listener. You're very intuitive. You give good advice because you're in tune. You're an empath. You know, if this is an ex-lover, then yeah, they know that you embody the love and care and compassion that they need right now. This is someone that needs your loving, man. They need your healing. They need your healing energy with that star card. I mean, this is why, this is why they're coming crawling back now because oh, clearly you withdrew. You was give you was the one that was giving to this situation, and since you withdrew your energy, this person is miserable. They're possibly depressed. I'm hearing. They're depressed. They can't cope. Page of Swords, spying. This is someone that secretly watches you. They secretly spy on you. Maybe on your social media. Maybe on your platform. If you have a platform. Where you upload content and videos, YouTube, Instagram, whatever it is, WhatsApps. Maybe this person drives past your home for some of you, if they know where you live. I'm hearing. It's a lot. This person needs your energy, so they'll do things like that. You know, just to get a bit of your energy. They will be watching you and, you know, just to be close. Your energy is everything. We've got the star. I mean, it's the star. I mean, it says it all. Your energy is everything to this person. <sighs> yeah. we got this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. I feel this person feels you are the one for them. You are the one. You know? Romantic feelings are involved here as well. Feelings are real, worth exploring. So there's a lot of strong feelings for you here. There's a lot of strong feelings for you here. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of love this person feels for you. I feel like they just didn't open up though. This is what I'm getting, Seven of Swords. They probably kept it to themselves, clearly. While they were taking all your love and attention... They were just taken and they weren't giving it, giving their love back. They were expressing their feelings, their true feelings. They was not keeping it real. Seven of Swords. 
However, it's in reverse. I feel like they want to come out this energy now and stop being deceptive. They, I feel like this is someone that wants to keep it real this time round because they know they're losing out. Their mind games is, is backfiring on them. I got this energy with Sagittarius reading as well. Yeah, this is someone that was playing mind games and using manipulation. It's backfired. It has backfired on them because look, they're out in the cold. They're in the dark. The sun in reverse. This person is miserable and depressed. Without you, it backfired because you, you wasn't playing. You just withdrew. You know, and took your energy with you, your healing energy with you. Yeah, you released, you cleared your energy because the time has come to clear your energy. So you released this person's energy. You didn't entertain their games, their mind games. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, clearly it backfired on this person here because eight of swords, this person, it just, this person just felt stuck. It's like, oh, what do I do now? <laughs> They thought they could cope without you. Clearly, this person cannot cope without you. They feel stuck. Yeah, and I feel like they was using manipulation on you because this person was um, in some kind of victim mentality. They was, you know, they were holding back, keeping themselves stuck, thinking that however things turn out between you and them was your fault. They tried to make you feel like it's your fault. <laughs> Clearly, that method didn't work. That manipulation didn't work. Yeah, they realise it's not working on you because <laughs> it's backfiring on them. Yeah, when you dig, dig a bit deeper, you got the Ace of Swords. Yeah, it backfired of them. <laughs> the truth of the matter is it backfired. Ace of Swords, the Magician in Reverse, and Knight of Cups. Yeah, I'm getting um, manipulation in it, more manipulation energy. A magician in Reverse, this is someone that is a manipulator. Only out for themselves, they try to manipulate the situation. This is what I'm saying. They tried to manipulate the situation to make you feel like you are the reason why things are the way they are between you and them. That they didn't do anything wrong. It's all you. This is someone that tried to, you know, that doesn't want to take accountability for their actions. They don't want to take accountability for the part that they played. In the breakdown, in you lot's connection, you and you and their connection, they they just pulling it all on you. However, as time goes on, they see that you are really not entertaining them, and they're bullshit. <laughs> this person realizes because they're watching you. They've been watching you to see if you your reaction. You know, this is why they watch you, inspire you spy on you to see how you're going to react you know to them not talking to you you know because oh, clearly there was conflict between you guys and <laughs> they tried to whatever the conflict was this person tried to make out like it was your fault the reason why the conflict is all your fault is always your fault you know one of those kind of people they don't take accountability for anything everything that happens is other people's fault they play the victim this is someone that plays the victim all the time this is someone that just goes through life and just thinks that life happens to them and it's not life life happens for us not to us and everything is not their fault everything whatever happens is always someone else's fault and they go through life playing the victim. So I feel like this, yeah, this is someone, this is someone that manipulates situations, don't want to take accountability, try to make out like it's your fault. But as time went on, clearly you was not entertaining this person. You didn't react. You just let it go. You just withdrew. 
and focus on yourself. And this person is getting more and more depressed. They miss you more and more. That's crazy. Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is someone that's got a lot of feelings. I'm telling you. This is someone that has deep feelings. Feelings are real, worth exploring. They want to take action towards you here. A lot of emotions. This this is someone that's really emotionally attached to you here. And I'm getting jealousy vibes as well. Knight of Cups. This indicates jealousy, moodiness, someone that gets in there gets in their feelings, especially when they don't get their own way. You know, this is this is someone that can be a bit detached from reality. <laughs> like they see they have a, a vision, you know, of creating something that they dream about, you know. But then they don't really um take into the into account like reality of 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 life. Like sometimes things might not go according to plan. But because this person can be a bit emotionally unstable, you know, they throw a wobbly when things don't go their way. They get jealous, they get moody, sulky. I f I, this is someone really in their feelings over you right now because things are not going their way. You're not playing their games. <laughs> They're trying to manipulate you here to make you feel bad and come running back to them, but it's not working. They're in their feelings. They're trying to manipulate the situation. But the truth is, this person has, is starting to realise the truth of the matter. There's been a breakthrough here. And they realise that they need to just give it up. Stop playing the victim, right? Stop playing these manipulation and mind games. And just keep it real. Seven of Swords in reverse, yeah. I feel like this person has realised... They just, they just need to keep it real. <sighs> this is why they're going to just reach out to you. You probably heard from this person by now because I'm telling you, I'm getting like, this person can't take it no more. They really miss you here. This is someone that really misses you. Yeah, when you dig deeper, you've got the temperance, Sagittarius energy. I did say Sagittarius and it, I did pick up that energy because this reading reminds me of the Sagittarius reading. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So, yeah, life cycles, karma. <laughs> karma. Yeah, this is karma for this person here. This is what I'm getting. It's karma for this person. So, this is, their mind games is backfiring. And they're getting their karma. Yeah, now they're sitting down somewhere, miserable, missing you, and in their feelings. This is their karma, it's backfired. So yeah, things are turning around now, this situation. <laughs> this situation is making this person see things differently now. They're looking at themselves, and they're going to use this opportunity to turn things around with you here. They're going to reach out, yeah. They're going to come out of this victim mentality. And, uh, yeah, open up communication, Ace of Swords. I feel like this person is coming in peace with that temperance energy. Yeah, they come in peace. But I can see most, for some of you, you've got your boundaries up with this person. Definitely, you have your boundaries up with this person. As I feel you should do not fully open up to this person just yeah take your time <laughs> and open up before you open up to this person so we got ox your angels and look for a sign yes very important and we also got within the next few weeks okay so good luck with this situation you guys i hope this reading helps you please click the like button leave a comment and also subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned. And until the next time, take care. I'll see you all real soon. Bye for now.